Iron District Revelator asks you two questions. One, do you feel you know God? Two, which does God esteem more, your love or your obedience? The answer to the first question, keep to yourself, but God knows. The answer to the second question may surprise you. Obedience, that we do the divine will of God by obeying all His commandments. The first of which is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and to love others as yourself by treating everyone as you desire to be treated. It is God alone who performs the signs, marvels, and miracles. Without God, we can do nothing. One who claims to love God but refuses, neglects, or otherwise fails to obey Him has not true love. For example, have you kept the Lord's commandment to always love and forgive, even one's purported enemy? Or are you pleased and delighted when one's purported enemy suffers or is slain? I know it is difficult, but to not love one's enemies is to disobey God. The presence of the Christ is within. To make conscious contact is eternal life. The heart and mind of mortal man is extremely corrupt and deceitful. Most people possess a greater propensity in thoughts, words, and deeds to do evil rather than good. Humans choose to hate and to blame while willfully rejecting to always speak, think, and act from the sacred space of love and compassion. God wants us to be totally transparent, honest, and frank with Him at all times. Stop hating, stop harming. Why not? Why not? From God's holy perspective, one's intellectual understanding about Him has no merit. One's human love for Him, absent obedience, has very little merit. One's unflinching obedience to Him, however, has great merit. The, the one, one I am, am is the boundless am, the in holy am, love and compassion. us to obey his commandments without compromise and to carry out our worldly duties in righteousness while remembering how everything is passing away except the reality of Almighty Lord God. Therefore, surrender fully to the Lord thy God and do His holy will by obeying His sacred commandments. Prayer of Repentance we repent, O oh God, most merciful for all our sins, for every thought that was false or unjust or unclean, for every word spoken that ought not to have been spoken, for every deed done that ought not to have been done, 
We repent for every deed and word and thought inspired by selfishness, and for every deed and word and thought inspired by hatred. We repent most specially for every lustful thought and every lustful action, for every lie, for all hypocrisy, for every promise given but not fulfilled, and for all slander and backbiting. Most specially also we repent for every action that has brought ruin to others. For every word and deed that has given others pain, and for every wish that pain should befall others. In your unbounded mercy we ask you to forgive us, O oh God, for all these sins committed by us, and to forgive us for our constant failures to think and speak and act according to your will. Amen. Now, I shall reveal a great secret of Christian mysticism. One shall know one has awakened Cosmic Christ Superconsciousness when one perceives the Almighty Holy One, Lord God, actually being everybody. Look up and read Matthew chapter 25 verse 40 because I have just revealed the preeminent mystical secret underlying this profound proclamation by the Master Christ Jesus. This is also the mystical meaning of Psalm chapter 51 verse 4. What we do to others, good or evil, we do to the Holy One Lord God. Because, in reality, God alone exists. Unless and until one obtains, by God's doing, this highest state of divine spiritual consciousness, one has not yet been fully sanctified under Christ-like holiness. And so, one remains in the hellish domain of duality where exists the illusory appearance of separateness and good versus evil. Should one remain stuck in this wretched state of mortal mind consciousness, it is impossible to enter the kingdom of heaven.
Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and is and is to come into all human consciousness. Lord, come quickly. Thank you. 